Hello and welcome to Breathing 101. This is a little exercise about how to sit quietly, breathe nicely, and perform a little meditation. I've been practicing this for a little bit and I wanted to share some insights that I've had and hopefully um, you'll benefit from some of the things that I've discovered. Sitting quietly for a few minutes every day is very refreshing both mentally and physically. So in this presentation I want to impart a few tips about how to go about sitting and breathing. Yogi Berra once said that 90% of all baseball is half mental. The same can be said about breathing exercise. 90% of all breathing is half mental. In this exercise, we want to create a certain quality of breathing and quality of mind. In order to do that, we're going to suggest a couple of do's and don'ts. One do is to be curious. If something's happening, going on, you have a thought, just be curious about why that thought came about at this moment. What we don't want to do is be judgmental. Oh, I'm not supposed to think that at this... No, no. no. Just be curious as to what's going on. One of the things we do want you to explore and be curious about is the difference between attention and intention. Attention is going to be just paying attention to what's going on. Intention is going to be when you want to do something to move to the next level. And knowing the difference is going to be important to this process. While you're doing this, try to be just attentive as possible. One of these two individuals is having a really good meditative session. During this exercise, there are going to be five levels that we are going to go through. And we'll explore those each individually. But I want you to notice three of these levels are under your voluntary control. So your voluntary nervous system, the one where you say when I want to inhale and when I want to exhale, are used at these three levels. At two of the levels, you're going to want to allow your involuntary nervous system to take over and do the breathing while you just watch. So you're going to have intention for three of these levels and attention for two of these levels. So let's look at each of these levels. The first one is called Jing, or quiet. And that's the process of just settling down and getting ready to create this session. You want to relax. You want to get comfortable. You want to make sure you're in the right environment where you're not going to be, um, you know, beset by noise or intrusions of any kind. And you want to create a nice posture for yourself where you can breathe comfortably. That's usually going to be sitting in a chair and I suggest towards the front of the chair if you can sit comfortably for several minutes while you're doing this exercise. If you can't and you need to have support for your back go ahead and move to the back of the chair but make sure you're sitting all the way back and your spine is straight up and down so that it frees your lungs for easy breathing and comfortable breathing. The hands will be just comfortably placed on the legs and you might want to 
move around a couple of times just to find your center of balance and kind of seat yourself comfortably. Then it's close your eyes and start looking at and attending to your breath and quieting yourself down. When you get quiet, then it's time to move on to the next level. The next level is called Shen or Deep. And this is where you create deep breathing. You do this through intention. And what you do is you find your Dan Tian, which is two inches below the navel and in the center of the torso. And allow your mind and your center of gravity to bring themselves gently to that spot. As you breathe, when you inhale, see if you can bring the breath all the way down to the Dantian. Now, in fact, we all know that you can only bring the breath to the bottom of the lungs. But what we're also breathing in as we're bringing in oxygen and air is we're also bringing in chi. So bring that chi all the way down to the Dantian. So now we have your center of gravity, your mental focus, and your chi all arriving at the Dan Tian, which is deep inside your torso. This is deep breathing. Once you have achieved deep breathing, we go to the next level, which is called you or at ease. This is the first place where you're going to allow your involuntary nervous system to take over breathing. And the way you do that is to allow your mind to kind of step back and just become the observer. It's not actively engaged in when to breathe in and when to breathe out. It just lets the body do the breathing and watches. That means just your attention on breathing. You can take a few minutes to do this till you really know that the involuntary nervous system is doing the breathing and you're feeling very much at ease. When you have achieved this, you'll go on to the next level. And the next level is called Juan or slow. And at this point, you re-engage your mind with intention and you begin to slow down your breath. One technique for slowing down the breath is taking a nice deep inhale and then relishing the full feeling of fullness for a couple of seconds and then taking a nice comfortable exhale. When you complete the exhale, relish the emptiness for a couple of seconds, adding these few seconds to the fullness and the emptiness of a breath will slow down your breath. We want to get to the point where we're doing about six breaths a minute. Don't stress about having a stopwatch and making sure that that's what you're doing. We just want to have a nice slow breath. Once you have achieved the slow breath, then you can once again allow the mind to step back and just observe and be attentive to what's going on. At that point, you can allow the involuntary nervous system to take over once more and be the uh, process of breathing while you mentally just watch. This level is called Mian, Cotton Soft. I also like to call it Quiet Abiding. This is a lovely level to be at, and you may want to stay here for quite a while at this level. One other thing that you can do when you have achieved this level is to engage a mudra to kind of mark that you have achieved this level. 
This mudra here is made by just touching the tip of your index finger to the tip of your thumb. And you just do this without moving the hands in a big way off of your legs, but just bringing the fingers to touch together. This is a lovely little symbol of arriving at quiet abiding. The role of the mudra will change over time. In the beginning, it's the marker to point out that you have arrived at quiet abiding or cotton soft. Later, as your practice becomes more accomplished, you can use the mudra as a trigger to move you more quickly into slow, cotton soft, quiet abiding. When you're ready to end your session, you can begin by just rotating the body in one direction and maybe another direction and then open the eyes and finally begin a cool down movement to help distribute the chi evenly throughout the body. Maybe three of these will do it nicely. And there you are.